Vlog day, 394. pastry run. Lots of trucks here. I don't have any food in my apartment. Not even any bananas. Gotta make a desperate run for croissant or something up here. This time I'm gonna go to the bakery next to the restaurant. Also, tragic story from the weekend in Helsinki. I never got those croissants to anybody that I intended to. I mean, Ricky, I hope you enjoy them. Um, but I'm sorry to the, those of you who are missing out on the croissant goodness. <laughs> Why did they give me a spoon to eat this with, by the way? Is that normal? Do they normally give you spoons? Like, I'm not kidding. Huh. Gave me a spoon. So Cheryl just asked what I think Americans do better than Europeans. I thought she was gonna ask about Brits because she just went back to London. So my answer stays pretty much the same. Uh, I was gonna say we are much better at driving on the right-hand side of the road, but uh, obviously Europeans have that handled. The Brits, the Brits are, they work on it when they travel, uh, but that's one thing. What do we do better in America? I, this is always dangerous territory. Uh -huh. We're much better at American football than most of the rest of the world, it's true. And we're also much better at baseball than most of the rest of the world, although Japan does pretty well, but they're not in Europe, so. We're very good at Thanksgiving. One of the things that we excel at by far would be Thanksgiving. It'd be hard to beat an American Thanksgiving. Oh man, I miss it. I love Thanksgiving so much. It's like my favorite holiday. I think though the answer that I settled on last time though, this is really, really dangerous. So here's the dangerous when I actually say something that, um, because especially the Belgians are gonna have a problem with this. Although I don't know if I have any Belgian viewers. Um, I think that where I'm from in particular, so as a country, we don't necessarily do beer better. Uh, if you've ever had Budweiser, you know this to be true. And that is kind of the staple of at least the central portion of the country. Where I come from in the Northwest, was the home of the microbrew scene. So the revolution of beer and coffee, uh, third wave coffee started uh, in the Northwest as well. But microbrews, I think it's just like the small town brewery, being able to go to like beer festivals and try all sorts of stuff that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else is up there. Belgium has a really high standard, but over the breadth of Europe, since we're talking about all of Europe, definitely that average gets brought way down uh, and the majority of nations have a beer but usually they're kind of on that Budweiser level or maybe a step above yeah I would say that we do better on that like where I come from if you go to the grocery store there's an entire refrigerated aisle dedicated to micro brews from the region right like an entire like longer than this whole wall sometimes it depends on the grocery store but like half this wall to the whole wall of nothing but like small local breweries and that that is hard to beat. I can't, you don't find that anywhere unless you go to like a specialty store here in France at least. And, and when you go back home, that's just a regular grocery store. Beer. I'll keep thinking about this. I'm waiting for my private tour right now. They're like 15 minutes late, which isn't a problem. I'm just hoping that they're okay. And I'm wondering if they're related to my buddy Marty. That's what I'm gonna find out here soon too. Anyways, sure, I'll, I'll, think, I'll keep thinking on this. My family, uh, private tour family, is now half an hour late. Hopefully everything's fine. Anyways, while I'm waiting, I just saw Richard. I'm really excited, like my time in Helsinki was really good. To recap, for those of you who are unaware, I was in Helsinki because Worldcon was going on. Worldcon is the World Science Fiction Convention. And I went not because I was gonna go to the convention, because I couldn't really afford to, even though I would have liked to, uh, but it was because I had friends who were there and just people that I wanted to see and some relationships I wanted to make sure were strengthened. I got to meet some cool people that I've talked to via email uh, that I've never actually met in person, so that was really good. Um, and then of course exploring Helsinki. And I'm just feeling really good in, about life in general right now. Like I'm really looking forward to doing the voice acting and translation work uh, for my buddy Nick soon. I really am looking forward to finishing Agnar's box. I'm obviously very much enjoying doing the vlog um, and working on, I need to sit down today and actually work on an editorial calendar for the vlog, just to make sure I know what I'm talking about uh, for the majority of the time. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't know, I'm feeling really good. Obviously doing more pull-ups, I just did a couple more because I'm an idiot. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling very positive about life. And reading Jane's book, Jane, I don't know if you ever watch my vlogs or not, but reading Jane's book on the business of being a writer is also helping me to, it's a good reality check in some ways for the last little bits of pipe dream that I have left in my brain, but it's also a really, really good way um, to remind myself that writing is a business, like, and going into wanting to be an author is very much a business, and so walking towards a lot of rejection, like trying to get an agent, trying to publish Agnar's Box, 
odds are very good I'm going to get rejected a lot and you guys are gonna to get to be a part of that or at least you're gonna to get to observe the like blah. it also helps me remember you know it doesn't matter it's not a rejection of me um, and it's it's a business thing it's their business decisions so Richard walking by he's a publishing consultant has been for a really long time and you know, he was just offering to help me basically put together a business proposal to go with the book. Be and that it's the perfect, the, it's the, the nicest offer of him to be willing to do that, but also it's just the perfect thing. Like it's right where I'm at. I'm like, yeah, like let's put this together. Let's figure out how we can position it. Let's figure out how this will sell. So that when we hand it over to a publisher, they don't have to wonder. They can just be like, oh yeah, we can totally see how this would work. And then hopefully smooths out the way for us to sell the book. And that's one of those great myths about writing that we'll talk about tomorrow, because maybe we'll talk about uh, writing more tomorrow, is that you can just write, basically. it's Some people manage to get away with it, but really the entrepreneurial spirit has to be a part of it. Anyways, I don't know where my family is and I've been talking for a while, so I kind of figured if I started monologuing with the camera, they would show up right in the middle of it and interrupt. Didn't work. My magic's not working today, I guess. We've accepted our detour now. Cheryl wanted to know, so more differences. One thing that uh, Americans definitely do better than Europeans by and large uh, is customer service. We have obsessively good customer service where literally we will make sure you're happy no matter what. And here they're getting better, but generally they could care less if you're happy. They just, they could care less to have your business a lot of times. They're just happy. Well, it depends on what country you're in. The French just aren't happy when they're in customer service. things that Europeans in general do way better than Americans is vacation. We barely even get vacation time in the States. So that's something to be jealous of. Free rain on the road today. I have no idea what they're prepping for down here. Although they do have a lot of motor, oh, they're, they're taking motorcycles that have been left behind. They've been towing cars all day. Police want your vehicle gone, they're gonna get it gone. We could do a whole video on what the French or Europeans in general do better than Americans, but I think that covers a fair number of things. Of course, I don't know if that's an appropriate thing to talk about, actually, we won't talk about that. We do a number of things that are very, very good.